Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Two operations that occur quite often in digital systems are one, detecting when two logic levels are opposite each other, and two, detecting when they are the same. And we're going to go ahead and use what we learned from the last video to develop the truth tables for these two operations and from the truth tables develop the output uh, logic expression. So let's take a look at this first condition where we want to detect or develop a truth table that uh, represents detecting when two logic levels are opposite each other. So the first circuit we want to develop is going to detect when two inputs A and B are opposite each other. So that truth table, the output X would be high when A and B are opposite each other. So now we want to develop uh, the AND term for each of these cases. So this here would just be A not B and this case is A B not. And now we want to have an output when either of these cases is true. So we want to OR these two AND terms together. So X is going to equal A not B or together with A, B naught. So now if we want to draw the circuit for this that represents this output expression, we see that we're just going to have two AND gates whose outputs will be OR together and we just need to put an inverter on the appropriate input variable. So the circuit would be two AND gates and in this case we have A and we want to invert it before it goes into the AND gate. And here we have input B. And this will go into an OR gate. And here we have another AND gate. And we tap A off of here. And this goes right in. And then here we have B which is inverted before it goes into this. So here we have one AND gate, here's the second AND gate. The output from this AND gate is A not B and from this is A B not and here's the expression X equal to A not B or together with A B not. So this is an important operation in digital logic, important enough that they've defined this uh, as its own unique operation and gate. And this is called an exclusive OR operation where we're detecting when two input signals A and B are opposite each other and it's given its own symbol called an exclusive OR gate and let's take a look at that so even though the exclusive OR operation is made up of individual uh, logic gates uh, it is defined as its own unique gate and it has its own uh, logic expression and logic gate symbol so the exclusive OR symbol looks like this. And this is A inputs A and B. Now unlike other logic gates, exclusive OR gates only have two inputs. There are no three input or four input exclusive OR gates. And the output expression again here is X is equal to a not B or together with A B not. A shorthand symbol that is sometimes used to represent the exclusive OR operation is X is equal to A exclusive OR B where we have this OR symbol with a circle around it represents the exclusive OR operation. So we could put this symbol in the gate itself representing exclusive OR operation. Again the exclusive OR produces a high output whenever the two inputs A and B are at opposite levels. 
The second operation now that we want to look at is detecting when the two inputs A and B are at the same level or equal to each other. So let's develop that truth table and a Boolean expression for the output. So the truth table for a circuit that produces a high output whenever the two inputs are at the same level uh, will look like this here where uh, we'll have a high output at this case where A and B is zero and this case here where A and B is a one and the AND term for these two cases in this case here this is A not B not and this case here it's A B and the total output uh, expression for this will be X equal to A naught B naught or together with A B and the logic circuit that represents this output expression will be two AND gates the first AND gate the inputs A and B are inverted before they go into the AND gate this is A and B and then the second AND gate the inputs go directly into the gate without being inverted so this is A naught B naught this is A B for the outputs and then these two outputs feed into an OR gate and the output here would be X equal to A naught B naught or together with A B and again this operation comes up quite often in digital logic and is important enough that it's been given its own un unique name and uh, gate and symbol and this is called an exclusive NOR operation or NOR gate So let's take a look at the symbol for the exclusive NOR gate. Now you might have noticed that the output of the exclusive NOR is just the inverse of the exclusive OR. So all we need to do is put an inverter on the output and uh, that's indicated on the symbol. So the symbol for the exclusive NOR, exclusive NOR gate is just the exclusive OR symbol we have A B with a small circle indicating the inverter on the output and the boolean expression again is X equal to A naught B naught or together with A B and the shorthand symbol for the exclusive NOR operation is X equal to A exclusive OR B inverted and again the exclusive NOR gate produces a high output whenever the two inputs A and B are equal and just like the exclusive OR gate there are only two input exclusive NOR gates. There are no three input or four input exclusive NOR gates. So a summary and comparison of these two uh, gates and operations we have the exclusive OR gate and its symbol and it detects when A and B are at opposite logic levels and here is the shorthand expression for the exclusive OR operation and the accompanying uh, truth table indicating the logic level output of one when the two inputs are opposite each other and here is the exclusive NOR gate symbol and it is the inverse of the OR operation indicating exclusive OR operation indicated by this uh, inverter symbol on its output and it detects when the two inputs A and B are at the same level 
And here is the shorthand expression for the exclusive NOR operation. It just has the inverter over the expression. And here, summarized in the truth table, we have a high output whenever A and B are at the same level and it's zero for the other two cases. And let's take a quick look at these two logic gates uh, in the Texas Instruments TTL data book. So here's the data book. Uh, the exclusive OR is a 74136. Take a look at that real quick here. So here is a quad exclusive OR gate. So you can see here we have a 74136 which is defined as a quad exclusive OR gate. And here we have the shorthand symbol for the exclusive OR operation along with the uh, Boolean expression uh, represented by two AND gates OR together. We have A, B naught OR together with A naught B. And here we have the logic symbols shown in a 14 pin dip package. So there are four exclusive OR gates in this IC here. And the exclusive NOR gate is a 74266. Let's take a look at that one. Let's see, right here, 266. Here we have a quad two input exclusive NOR gate open collector outputs. We have the Boolean expression We have Y is equal to A, exclusive or B, with the inverter symbol, the line over it. And here are the four exclusive NOR gates, again in a 14-pin dip package. And you can see the inverter symbol on the output. So let's experiment with these two new logic gates with the Heathkit Digital Design Experimenter by applying signals to these two gates and looking at the outputs. So here's the Heathkit Digital Design Experimenter. I was able to find a 74136, an exclusive OR gate, but I did not have an exclusive NOR gate, an individual uh, IC. But all I need to do is to feed the output of the exclusive OR into a 7404 and that's an inverter and I end up with the exclusive NOR operation. So you can see here uh, I already have the 7404 hooked up but uh, right now I'm going to bypass that so we can exercise the exclusive OR gate operation. So here I have switch 1 and switch 2 and these are the two inputs to one of the uh, exclusive OR gates on this IC here, the 74136. So you can think of this as uh, input A and B, or one and two. So right now, they're both at zero, which are the, they're equal, or the same. And here's the output, which would light up this LED here when it's at logic level one. So when they're the same, it, there's a zero output. So if I put these both at one, we have a zero output. But when they are at opposite levels, you can see here that the LED lights up, indicating that it's detecting when in, uh, these two inputs are at opposite levels. I also can, I also can take this and uh, represent opposite levels here with switch one high and switch two low. As you can see, either of these operations will produce a logic level one on the output when inputs one and two are, are at opposite levels. When they are the same, it's a logic level zero on the output when they're both zero and when they're both one. But when they're opposite each other, it produces a logic level one. And that's the exclusive OR operation. So now let's connect the inverter to the output of the exclusive OR gate. And that will give us the exclusive NOR operation. So connect to here. We're now going through an inverter. So this should produce a high output when the two inputs are at the same level and zero when they're opposite each other. 
So here we start off with a zero and a zero on the input and you can see the LED is lit indicating a logic level one on the output. And when they're opposite levels, there's a zero. So we have an input of zero one produces a zero out and one zero produces a zero out. But when they're one and one on the input, we have the LED lit indicating a high output and when they're both zero you can see the LED is lit so it's the complete opposite of the exclusive OR operation so that's a quick introduction to two new logic gates the exclusive OR and the exclusive NOR gates so I hope you found this video interesting feel free to subscribe like and or comment and thanks for watching